Hey guys, welcome back to All Around Lego, and today we'll be ranking the Lego Rebel sets worst to first. Let's get into it. In my opinion, I think all the Rebel sets are really good looking, so it was really hard for me to pick my least favorite. However, that would be 75048, the Phantom. This set I felt like had a lot of potential, however, it didn't necessarily deliver on that. Granted, it still looks really good in my opinion. The Ezra and the Chopper minifigures look really good. However, for the build portion of the set, I felt like it was a little lackluster. I definitely think that the stud shooter on top doesn't look as good. And then it leaves a lot to be desired of the set. However, the cockpit looks really nice. It's really nice how they were able to get the back part of it to shape in really well. However, the back part does look a little too bulky. Otherwise, I think it's a good set. It was just so hard to pick. Least favorite set. They all seem so good. 75, 141. Kanan's speeder bike is up next. This one, obviously, minifigures, once again, are very little issues in the set. But this one, I think his speeder bike doesn't look too good. It's obviously overscaled, but that is to be expected with Lego. I just wish that it didn't look like a Harley Davidson motorcycle. It's... I just don't like how it looks like that. Star Wars is, you know, it's unique off thing. And I think Lego was just made it look a little bit too like a Harley Davidson. However, the Imperial crates do look really solid. 795090, the other speed bu speeder bike, is up next. The figures, once again, pretty good. The speeders, they both, are, I actually like this design quite a lot. They look really good. Just one reason why it's so low. They're the exact same speeder with a color swap and one or two different pieces. So I just don't like it for that. I feel like Lego could have provided something new and original. The battle pack is up next. I think the Imperial Troop Transport, really cool concept, especially downscaled into a battle pack build. Looks really nice. Stormtroopers, four of them. That plays a factor because they're all universally the same. And for that reason, it looks really good. I just wish that there was like something extra. I feel like a lot was left on the table with this set. The flick fire missiles on top though were a nice added feature. I just felt like they could have maybe made it a little bigger or something. It was just missing something. The TIE Advanced Prototype is next of the victims. This set I always really liked, especially with how the wings could fold. I definitely think that added a whole lot of personality to the set and obviously a bigger pain with uh, Legos is storing them. So that helped a lot. However, you get a really good minifigure selection, mainly the Grad Inquisitor, which looks super nice. The cockpit looks really well. The way that the wings are create that, you know, iconic shape that you're looking for in the back. The overall smoothness of the tile. This one is really good. It was just so hard to pick a spot, and this one just isn't as good as the other one. 75157 is up next. This is Captain Rex's ATTE. This one, always, I never really truly enjoyed it quite fully. I always wanted a real ATTE. This one, when it came out, ATTE, I was super pumped. Nothing beat the disappointment on that day when I saw the photos. M minifigure selection is really good. I just wish that, you know, it looked like a real ATTE. A couple years ago, this would have been at the bottom, but I've since then grown a little keen to it. the little platforms, the rusted leg. It looks super nice. Just a whole lot going on. I'm not sure I like that too much. I definitely would have taken a regular ATTE over this. The Phantom is up next, which is obviously up here for one main reason. Grand Admiral Thrawn, a phenomenal figure, and then you also get Chopper and Kanan, but that's not too insane. The build actually looks really nice. It definitely it was able to incorporate the back portion into the cockpit really well. I do wish they used a different piece for the cockpit. I think it looks a little off. However, the fin at the top and then the back portion that juts out, it looks super nice. The landing gear, when it's landed, actually looks really well too. And for a smaller build, it definitely delivers a lot on that with a whole lot of detail, contrary to the Phantom. 75083 is up next. This is the ATDP, this set. When it came out, I always loved it. I always thought it was really cool. I thought as an ATST spinoff, it actually looked really well. I like how they have the one main cannon that juts out really far and makes it seem like heavy assault walker. I always thought that was amazing. The figures are pretty standard, but good nonetheless. 
I really liked how the legs were actually going back and then back in to make the cockpit look like it was just leaning over a bit. I definitely liked the look of the ATTP a lot and it was really well done and LEGO was able to get all the angles right on it, which I think is really impressive. That's probably why it's so high. Cracking our top five is 75150. This is the TIE Advanced vs. A-Wing. The TIE Advanced look amazing. The wings look good, the cockpit, like everything on this TIE Advanced was pretty much perfect. I definitely uh, appreciate it a whole lot. I think it looks really solid with all the pieces and stuff. It's definitely something that I'm looking forward to if they do a remake. And then the A-Wing is probably where this one tails off a bit. Still a phenomenal looking A-Wing. I just don't think it looks as good. It feels like a little chunky even though with Rebels that is to be expected because almost everything is chunky. Otherwise pretty solid. Just missing out on the top three is 75106. This is the Imperial Assault Carrier. I always thought this set was interesting. It's pretty much a midi scale set with a couple mini figures included. But I always thought it looked really nice. Uh, obviously a side portion of the build. I always thought the little TIE Fighters always looked really good. However, with the Assault Carrier, it's really nice how they were able to capture the lower fin. The cockpit looks really well. Kind of looks like a bit of a rhino. I'm not sure if you see that either. But it looks really nice how it folds through. In the engine area, I feel like it could have been a little bit improved upon. However, I think it looks really good. At number three, I have 75053, which is the Ghost. This Ghost, like a year ago, would have been at number one. It looks really nice. Minifigure selection, really good. I really like how the engines go out. Everything was done so well on this, and I thought I couldn't improve upon that until the Ghost came out this year. That Ghost, I think, blows this one out of the water, which is crazy to say, because this one looks really good still. However, that one definitely hindered it. I definitely think it looks really nice with the on this one. The curves that made it up, and all the piece placement felt really good, and it gave that bulk the shape was captured really well. The engines I felt were a little big, but at the time it was the only thing we had, so it was really good. And overall it just created a really good cohesive feel to it. And I wish that it would still be number one on my list, but 75084 since then has surpassed it. This is the Wookiee gunship. I always thought this one was interesting. It was a regular gunship with a color swap, a couple piece changes, but smaller. I always thought this one looked really nice, the double cockpit. I do think it looked kind of funny on the front, but it looked really good nonetheless. The little loading area wasn't as big as I liked, but I thought it looked really good. The two turrets on top with the stud shooters, I guess. It looked really well. Also, the fin in the back. It really did give a insane Wookiee feel to it. looked super nice with that. And the way the wings dipped down, everything about this set I think was a massive hit. It looked really well. However, the set that I have at number one is 75158, known for its extremely expensive Ahsoka minifigure. The build, when it came out, I know a lot of people weren't thrilled about it. However, I think it looks really good from the get-go. I always was a big proponent of that. I really like how they were able to get the two fins that jut out in the back really nice and then have the skinny segues into it, the little fin on top, and then have that area kind of finished off with a Venator-esque type feel and then have the bulk out where the main ship is. I always thought that looked really well with that and have the lower portion and higher portion of that with the slight dip down. I thought that looked really good and then to finish it off with the little semi-circle in front. I always thought that looked really well and it's arguably one of the better ships in all of Star Wars or Lego Star Wars I guess at that and it looks really well with that and that is why I have it at number one. Thanks for watching. Be sure to have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time in All Around Lego.